Apple Classroom is a great tool that you can use to manage devices, uh, specifically iPads in your class. So here's how it works. Uh, first of all, you'll need to download the Classroom application uh, from the App Store. Uh, once you open that up, you'll be invited to enter in your information. So I'll put in my information right here, uh, Mr. Bergman, and then if I'd like to add a picture, I can add a picture right here where it says edit. I'm just gonna hit done and then it'll take me to my classroom. Now the first thing that I'm gonna have to do is create a class and I can do that and give it a name. So we'll call it, um, I'll just call it period one. Okay, and then I can change the icon right here if I'd like to change it. Uh, I can change the color of that icon if I'd like, and then I can hit done. Uh, once that happens, now I'll have my class up and running, and as a teacher, I can go ahead and open this up, and I can choose allow for notifications. Um, the next thing that I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to add students. So here's how you add students. You're just simply going to tap add students and then what students are going to do is they're going to go on their device and if you see this code 1076 they're going to enter in that code now a couple things you got to keep in mind one bluetooth needs to be on on all devices so make sure that bluetooth is on or it will not work um, so let's show you what it looks like from the student perspective So here's a student iPad that I have, and how do they get on Apple Classroom? Well, it's real simple. They're gonna go to the Settings app. There's no app that you have to download for students, which makes it great. So if I go to Settings, uh, I'm gonna see if Bluetooth is on and the teacher device um, has is set where it says add students to the class like I showed you, you're gonna see this classroom um, menu right here. Go ahead and choose that classroom menu and then you're gonna see any classes that are available to join. So I'm gonna add period one, that was the name of my class. Now what I do is I put in my information. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go and put in um, just a random name right here, Joe Smith, uh, and then it's gonna ask me for a code provided for my teacher. Remember, that was the code that you just saw on the previous screen, that was 1076. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do that and hit add. Then what happens is I'm automatically joining the class. Um, as a teacher, you just have to add uh, that student and let's show you what that means. So here's my teacher iPad, and as you can see, Joe tried joining the class. So I'll see their names pop up, and all I have to do is choose add, which I'm gonna choose right up here, and my student is automatically in my class. Now what I love about this is that I can see what that student is doing. That student right now is in settings. So if that student, I'm gonna get my student iPad and go to a different spot right here. Let's say that I get on Safari. You're gonna see the student, what app it's they're in, and you're also gonna see what apps are currently open. As you can see right next to all, it says Safari. So I have one student on Safari. I can control student devices on a couple different ways. I can tap on the student's name. I can open a specific application. So if I wanted to open a specific app and send it out to all of my students in my class, I could do that. I could simply choose an app. So let's say that I wanted to um, op have everybody open up Google Chrome. Well, what I can do is I can then uh, see that, well, this particular application isn't installed. So let me try another one that is already installed. Uh, let's say that I want them to go to the calendar. Okay, that will open up calendar on each student device. And then if I wanna open up calendar on this iPad, I can, but I'm just gonna hit done. And as you can see, calendar is open. Now, if Joe is doing something that he shouldn't be doing, I can lock his screen right there. It will lock. Now, the one thing that you have to realize is that it will ask for permission to do this on the student iPad if this is the first time. So you'll wanna allow access to that and then it will lock that iPad. So let's say that you're giving a lesson, you wanna lock the screens, you can do that. I can go and tap on his name and choose unlock. 
Now, let's say if Joe's being really, really loud, uh, he's playing a video really loud, you can mute their iPad if you'd like, uh, simply by choosing mute, or you can even airplay uh, their iPad uh, as well. If I want to view that person's screen, so let's see that. Let's say that I want to see what Joe is doing, and and maybe he's on uh, Safari. I can go and view their screen, and once again, it's going to ask for the very first time to allow access, and I can see what Joe is doing on his iPad. Oh, he just got out of uh, Safari, uh, so I can see that, and then I can just choose done when I want to get out of his screen. There's a lot of other features here as well. If I want to lock my entire class at a time. Up at the top in the red section right here, I have uh, this whole entire menu where I can lock my entire classroom and then I can tap unlock and it'll unlock all of my students as well. Um, I can see all of my students' screens. I can add more students. And then this feature right here, I love this. This is the group. You can create groups of students. So let's say for instance, you're doing some type of lesson where you wanted to work with a small group of students and then another group of students, you wanna have them work independently. You could create separate groups to manage on Apple Classroom. That way, if you're working with students at your desk and uh, students are using technologies at their desk, you can see what's going on and managing it. This is completely free and that's the best part. It's completely free and it's easy to use. When you're done with your class, um, you just simply, at the end of the day, you would just say end class. And what I like about this is it gives you a report. It'll tell you what apps were being used. You can go to each individual student, see what apps that they particularly used. I can go and see, okay, in settings, what, what were, where, how long were we on that? We were on it for 13 seconds. So this is a great accountability tool uh, to have available to you. Uh, then the next day when students come into class, you can just open up your class and voila, it automatically will have Joe join the class. There's no code that they have to enter in for a second day. Uh, so this allows you to transition very smoothly from class to class uh, without any hassles. Hey, for more information on Apple Classroom and other tools, check out my blog, uh, bergman-udl.blogspot.com.